What's up, y'all? Don't get this commentary. The, the best on these streets. I'm about to start the club. Here. What's up, everybody? Welcome to members, okay? If you're a member, you're watching this. And if you not a member, that meant members saw it first, and then I've said it for the public. So first off, again, my apologies for not uploading, putting out content, life be life and job. Job has to always come first from social media, but I'm trying really hard to find some balance to at least do one piece of content a week, okay? Um, now look, we coming upon the holidays. <laughs> Child, if it ain't one thing, it's another. But what's interesting... You know, I've been trying to keep up with the JAG content, and I am a little bit behind. So, if you, I need to be corrected, feel free to get down in the comments and correct me. Um, JAG is monetized. I know that's old news. It's not new to me, but it's interesting. She's monetized, and I found it a little bit of audacity, uh, audacity to have a $100 a month membership that's going to include some concerts. When, to, to date... Again, correct me if I'm wrong, she has not even produced the free concert that was for the people that used the GoFundMe to get her out. How? 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 Sway? How do you charge $100 a month for concerts when you couldn't even take the time to do the free concert that you specifically said you were going to do for those that bonded you out of jail through the GoFundMe, okay? You, she's still a mess. She's still homeless and still hopping dick the dick, dick the chick, chick the dick, or whatever's convenient so she can stretch a dollar, okay? And even though she is monetized, if she is not getting the fan funding to support a nightly room and a decent nightly room, when I was just looking around, a decent room is about $80, okay? With a discount, maybe they don't sell. And I know they don't go on sale, but, you know, a discounted, 60 okay? But 80 90 100 is a decent room, uh, obviously, to hire up. Because I would want to be at a hotel that's going to give me free breakfast every morning. So at least I know I got one meal down pack. I can grab extra um potatoes, couple of pieces of bacon, sausage, make me a waffle, take it up to my room, and I've got lunch in case the cash app ain't happen, okay? The Venmo ain't Venmoing, okay? Another thing, I was listening to another person who said her, um, what do you call it? Her money, the bank deposit that you attach, her banking information that you attach to your monetization isn't Kimmy's name. Tell me that's a lie. Tell me at her ripe old age of almost 50, she does not have her banking information entrusted to moderators who she truly, truly don't know, except for on YouTube for the last less than six months. I, I just, I can't believe that. I also saw in a comment something about she tried to use uh tj's venmo or something and she shut it down baby i don't know how true that is but either way if she really don't have her her banking information set up and is relying on her mods that's wild okay um and i do remember her stating she wanted to give uh, she was like oh uh, i only want to get monetized for my moderators like i'm assuming she gonna get her money right <sighs> why would you give money to your moderators when you're homeless I mean, it's a kind gesture, but at the end of the day, moderators mod for free on the love of the content creator, right? It's not a paid position. And when and if the content creator can send out money, she will, but if they, or he, but if they can't, they can't. Making sure that you have moderators that rock with you, irregardless of if they get paid, is what you want. But you opened up your mouth and said you were wanting to get monetized for the moderators. I wonder, are they going to hold her to that? Also, she felt really special because she sat in for a little bit of the Tupac Keefe D trial, okay? Look at this electrified idiot of a Negro here. Okay. Um, like common folk, 
okay? Her having a press pad, baby, you can print those off on I Google. You can make one, okay? You can get one and you can make one. Jaguar Wright is a celebrity. Whether she's a has-been, she still is a celebrity. So, yes, getting a press pass is not impressive. Because you're not that cute. And your hair is uneven. You look dusty. She can do that, okay? Also, the trial is recorded. So everybody that's that's a news outlet or what, what have you will have portions or all of the trial. They're going to clip them up and put them on the internet on their individual websites. It wasn't because Jaguar Wright uh, Jr., the 16th, um, was in the clip. You just was in the audience. And baby, every time I glanced at you after I figured out it was you, you were in what I would call flashbys, okay? You were... um. They were pan in the camera, baby. It was nothing special. Nobody reached out to you after that interview and wanted your input and asked you nothing. Because trust and believe, if they had, you would have recorded it. So nobody knew who you was or cared, okay, um, that they wanted to have you, that they felt you might say something of substance that would be noteworthy for the world to see. So TMZ put the clip on their site, just like Law and Order, whatever that um, show is. Not the TV show, but the website, I think it's Law and Order, or Law News or something, um, that do all the trials. It's on there. It's everywhere. TMZ didn't reach out to you and say, hey, can we film you? No, baby. You was in the crowd. Boop, you got one to two seconds clip. Because, baby, I had to screen record it, pause it, and stop. I said, oh, there she go. Cha back. Um, so now she feels that she is Beyonce and she was in the video. I saw her like thanking her without you, I, without you, you know, girl, without them, what we all could have got caught up on the little camera had we been there. Okay. But anyway, she also wants her subscribers who fix it. Jesus to fund Kimmy getting out to Vegas. I thought Kimmy, which one of them got money? One of them mods, maybe it wasn't Kimmy, but they was talking about they got money, they got lawyers, they got all kinds of things. So why would they need some fan funding? And I think, or is Kimmy the one with all the children? I can't remember. I don't know. But is she taking her children, children ready to Vegas? I don't know. But the audacity to ask your, your subscribers to fan fund your, your people, your moderators out there. Who child? Um, no, that's a no for me. I mean, it, it's really not from me because I don't support her at all. So I would, it would, it's not even an option. Not that she's looking for my support either. Trust and believe. She ain't out there like, oh, have come get this commentary. Uh, give me a dollar. Absolutely not. Okay. Um, what I would like to see is her to take some accountability and stop being homeless. Stop being willful, willfully homeless. Okay. She's homeless on purpose because she mismanaged monies that she's had even though her mother's money wasn't hers and she by law rightfully could spend it okay because if your name is on anybody's bank account you you can you can have at it right she should never be in the position that we see her now had she done right with monies she had her hands on months ago okay yes gerald was with her okay he was mismanaging monies too right however that should have been the 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 deal of y'all at that time y'all wanted to still be toxic whether you contribute to the house or not gerald i'm mad I'm going to drag you for filth, but I ain't about to get evicted with my mom and my son. So we're going to pay the rent and just cuss you out for filth. Matter of fact, get out. Okay, but you didn't do that. Okay. Number two, even before, <laughs> how are you Jaguar Wright Johnson, the 53rd, and you still decided not to manage your money, but yet you have all these connections? Why do you still not have access to the $4,800 billion offshore? Did you lose the PIN number? Okay. Where's the PIN number to that? Unfortunately, because she has said such vile things, which cracks cracks me up um, at the vile things she said. And her mods act like, oh my God, everyone dislikes her for no reason. Are you do you guys don't hear her when she gets mad and want to get back? 
um, her weaponizing SA. You know, when she weaponized it against her husband and his mom and daddy, that was a sign that that's someone you shouldn't want to be bothered with. You know, she went after Nikki's kids using SA. She does it to anybody when she's angry is to use SA to weaponize and the fact that they think that's okay. <laughs> they think that's okay. And so they sit with her and don't hold her accountable is amazing to me. I'm like, oh, okay. Um, she possibly, I believe she's broken up from um, Johnny, I don't know. Let's see, Johnny Corn, Johnny Crack Corn, Johnny Great Value Corn, Johnny Crack Corn, he don't care. Johnny Pop some corn. One of the Johnnies, one of the corns, one of the Johns, I don't know. Okay, allegedly. I believe possibly they've broken up because people have reached out to them and explained and told of how she does because she will record their conversations and anything that he um, or anyone she's with he or she tries to tell her in private okay she will expose it because everything is content that actually in my opinion is why she does not have the support of anyone in the industry, even as little, as little as, let me hire you to sing at my wedding. She ain't, she can't even be a wedding singer from what it looks like. It's money to be paid in singing at weddings. And then you are Jaguar Wright Johnson, the 18th, okay? You should be able to be popping out here singing at weddings, but People can't trust you that you won't record them or do something messed up and embarrass them. Nobody wants their moment to be ruined because you felt you didn't get the diva treatment or you just didn't like or you felt in your um, great spirit that the husband or the wife was going to cheat. And I just got to tell the truth. And you embarrass them and fuck up their wedding. Okay. Um. She will not allow, well, she doesn't want people around her that are not yes men. The people in her circle are yes men and yes ma'am and yes sir. Okay, they literally don't hold her accountable still. Okay, nothing literally has changed over there. The panel is still a hot ass mess, reflective of nothing. Um, even listening to the young boy who somebody put a comment up about Goomba. Basically, I'm paraphrasing something like, if I find a clip, I'll insert it. But it was something like, come home. Gerald, if you really wasn't a part of it, then call your wife and talk. Explain and prove it to us. Stop waiting. Rekindle the adventure. That's right. Y'all went on, y'all, that was a covet un, from under God. You can't go past that. Whether you try to run, hide, you can't. That's your wife, man. But some people, they're just not mentally capable to do things. He don't belong here. Mm -hmm. no. And God knew it. And everything is as it should be. The table is set. Whoever's sitting here, that's, that's who's going to eat. He trying to sound like um, Martin Luther King, you know, in a pastor tone. You know, like come back because of covenant and, and your husband and wife sir sir are you not paying attention that that man has left and he is happy and not all marriages are meant to be together even jag did say it's over i don't believe she feels that i feel she don't have no choice but to say it so she don't look super stupid because she doesn't have any any type of audio uh, of him calling in any way trying to imply that he want to get back with her but it was dumb to me to imply that Gerald needs to try to come back to her. For what? He didn't fuck with her when she was locked up. And I stand on what I said. I feel that was the right decision. A lot of people don't agree with me. And we can agree to disagree. But I think him not messing with her while she was locked up. Sending money, doing anything, talking, writing letters. It did not give her any hint that we might get back together. It it was, we're done. When you break up, who is around here breaking up, still being friends, unless the breakup was amicable? 
unless you broke up and y'all actually had a meeting of the minds and addressed some things and came to some mutual understandings and then because that does happen people break up in the most bitter way they have a meeting of the minds they get that bond back to strictly friendship and yes they can help each other they broke up in the worst way you know what i'm saying like it was a clean break it was a hard break it was an embarrassing break it did make him look a hot mess like you left your wife in there to rot he did and he stands on it as he should again some people may not like that but i don't believe in being fake if you're not gonna really get back with her leave her the fuck alone just cut her ass off let her deal with what she got to deal with because she put herself in that position goomba um, if you're on his social media, the man looks happy. He look healthy. He look clean. He look well fed. Okay. He had fun on Halloween and he still appears to be working. Now in some previous videos, you would have to go back, but I did a live stream where I actually bought up separation in Texas. There is no legally separated in Texas, but there is a, I believe it was after the two year mark of living completely separate, separate monies, y'all don't fuck with each other, y'all can then be divorced. I, um, I'm not going back through my old videos. If you was in the chat, you saw me put it on the screen, do you know what I'm talking about, okay? But either way, I don't know where the divorce stands because they are, as, as of now, they're still legally married. Um, whether people want to call it common law or legally married the traditional way. At the end of the day, Texas law said they married. It don't matter what what style of it is. They marry and they still have to complete, or he has to complete a divorce or wait it out, okay? So he has moved on. Legina, okay, and it's interesting. Her exes and her friends who left her alone, they all really do seem to be on a better stride. Legina, she posted like an affirmation or something, if I can find it. Uh, I'm post back with my affirmations. I just want to get the ball rolling back on it. So here it goes. I am not afraid of storms for I am learning how to sell my ship. Emmy March. No one can make you feel inferior without your consent. Eleanor Roosevelt. Mm -hmm. The first step to getting somewhere is to decide that you are not going to stay where you are. J.P. Morgan. There you guys go. I just want to be sending back the positive intention and lives. Something I was doing originally. So I want to get back into that. So yeah, I will get one. She smiling and her skin look like it's clearing up. At least that's the last time I looked at her. But she seems happy. She seems to have a good circle around her. Making sure she eat and she's clean. Got hot water. Okay. Got clean uh water soap soap toothpaste things like that she not out here pillow to po post okay uh tj tj seems to be away from jag but i found it odd that she still and, and mind you i'm getting caught up she probably hasn't done it since but she answered her calls um and was talking to her but i also um feel that she's left her alone whether it's 100 percent, because i feel like if jag said listen i want to i want to get this money let's let's do a tell-all or interview behind a paid wall because she's still homeless okay um need her subscribers to support her literally nightly daily needs food shelter she's still a vagabond it is what it is okay she's not a super vagabond she like a great value vagabond she trying to get on her feet but I also thought she was working. Let me hop in here too with a serious question. This isn't just, this is for TJ and JAG supporters. This is for anyone who gives money to content creators that are willfully, okay, willfully choosing to live homeless on the street, okay? You know, TJ left her home. Even though she claimed her relationship was going left, she still left stability, okay? Because she could have left in a different way. She could have waited until she found a place to stay, a home, and a job, and then leave. But she left to be on the street, okay? Jag continues to be on the street and doesn't seem to make any strides at getting off the street. And I'm curious 
when do you stop making sure able-bodied people um, are cared for? Tampons, maxi pads, toothpaste, deodorant, hair supplies, socks, drawers, bras, okay, oil for their skin, body wash, soap, panties, bra, boots, winter boots, coats, all of that. When when do you say, hey, 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 I'm going to have to start tipping, okay, tipping and donating versus supporting, okay? supporting able-bodied humans who aren't doing anything other than begging on the internet okay you can take it how you want to take it but it's a real question because somebody say well other content creators give money excuse me if you're employed and your second job because this is a job they gave me a 1099 i pay taxes on anything i earn from youtube so it is a part-time job any donations i get support it's tips it is a, I fucks with you, Kiva. I enjoyed that content. Thank you for showing up and entertaining me. Yes, I go to work. I do have a job. I don't have to get on here and beg for money and ask for money because I'm homeless on the street willfully, okay? So that's just a question I want to put out there. Somebody let me know down in the comments. Is it a year, six months, 30 days, like forever? Like how long do you support Let me know down uh, in the comments willful homeless if she don't work anymore okay but she i also like that i ain't heard her with this bad cough cold and fucked up throat like she was just the sickliest nastiest sounding shit going on horse and all and then she talked about all that vd possible vd or child disgusting and this is on the internet for her children her mama well not her mother i believe her parents are deceased but her immediate family and friends to see like it ain't no mother and her, her parents watching down from heaven they probably turning over in that grave upset with this girl okay but at the end of the day she choose to put this foolishness on the internet she chooses just like jaguar okay just like goomba just like legina Okay, even though Goomba, Legina, and TJ are seeming to be doing better, Goomba out of all of them seem to be on the right track. Okay, Legina, strong runner up. TJ, she she's still in the running. Okay, then we got TJ's ex, Naisha. She seemed to be doing good too. Okay, but at the end of the day, they're in a better position than Jag. Jag has is still. In the mud. That's turn. Get it out the mud, baby. At some point, you gotta get up. Stand up. Stand up. Stand up. Out the Stand mud. Up. God damn it. Why are we still in the same spot? I've been gone all this time, and I I'm like, what the hell? Ain't no progress, girl. Don't nobody care about that you were sick. She's so proud of that. I got a press pass, robot. Girl, we gonna watch the trial on YouTube like everybody else. So we we. I bet you I won't get no updates from her. Okay, uh, Chronicle Speaks of somebody, Neek at Night, I'm going to find me somebody, give me the update before I watch it from her, because you know she's going to lie on it and put her on twist, and she's going to say that she was there with Tupac holding his hand, and she helped out in surgery. I think not, I think not, but I am glad to see TJ's health seems to be better, but at the end of the day, people that leave her, okay, do better, okay, that's my thought. Now, it was bought out that her latest dude, Jazz's latest um, hobo man, didn't have her on his main pages. She was on the backup pages, the I don't want you to be seen pages, the sad chick pages. Child, that's a mess. And then again, somebody messaged him and warned him, child, gave him all the tea. And he like, oh, but here's the thing. She can be mad that somebody messaged him and said, um, let me let me say this. Whatever was said about Jack, if he look it up on the internet or if that person sent him links, you can see her saying any and everything out of her own mouth. It's nothing that's made up for, for the most part. That, I, you know, I, I'm going to assume that what the person said can be verified because she records everything and puts it online. So I don't know what the issue was. Why you mad at the truth? As TJ say the truth, okay? Why you mad? 
is out there, okay? And I believe he, he I wouldn't do it, okay? And I wouldn't do it. But I think people do sometimes need to be told of your, your, your past if uh you can't uh leave a person quietly when you break up with her or leave her she doxes you says your full legal government name you know so we'll start weaponizing sa and she'll probably say the man assaulted her before we know it i went to leave and he assaulted me child it'll be a mess so maybe he took the warning and he will keep it moving but then on the other side of that all jokes aside okay because i'll be talking my little shit and joking jack deserves to be humanized she deserves to have happiness she deserves to have peace of mind however she is an agent of chaotic bullshit she is an agent of destruction of peace she is an agent of the lie and the truth be far removed from her so it's hard to have grace for her and 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 and, and give her any real friendship you I, I can't even envision anyone making a real friendship i do not for one second believe that the alleged mod squad are genuinely friends with her the the one lady can't think of her name seems a little irritated when she talk about jag it's kind of like luster girl they probably gonna fall out in a minute but they probably scared to death because they done told her some shit they shouldn't have told and she gonna put their ass on blast and she gonna embarrass them and now they stuck child ain't no way okay um not being able to grab any celebrity or not any just some from her era is crazy to me okay they just won't won't fuck with her her reputation precedes her and it's all over the internet will she ever make real connections she also stated she about to get back to selling salve and i think her overlay on one of her video said daladelphia girl <laughs> i heard some people say you still owe the money for the sales what you gonna do about that how will you take the time to get product make sure it's right package it up get all of that when you seem to live literally pillar to pillar to post you're gonna be lugging around salve and ingredients and stuff when you get put out of one hotel or don't got the money for it like th that's crazy to me then with these memberships are you truly gonna sit down and give people what you claim the tears are i think one of them was talking about shadow work maybe she teaching y'all how to do voodoo hoodoo I don't know, but if it's some type of shadow work or hoodoo voodoo, can she foresee the future up on some steady income? Now, I get it. YouTube can be steady income, but for those of us who do content regularly and get a YouTube check, YouTube will snatch it from you in a minute. They will put your videos on the yellow, which means zero to limited money. So a yellow video might make a dollar or it could make 50. But if it was green, it could make 100, 200, 3, right? So it still depends. Then they're going to take their percentage, okay? So it's like, how are you produce this sale while still producing content for members because you've stated you're going to give them a specific thing you even stated merchandise right what your members should have said was just some members only videos and members chats so that because that's easy to do just cut the members only on or just upload a video to members you talking about merchandise you talking about concerts plus Philadelphia because it looks like you're about to start it plus sell and you are unstable but you're putting it out there so hey baby if you say you can pull it off then go ahead and try to pull it off okay um she also spoke about being in love with two men ma'am what kind of level i don't understand her level of love because she spoke i remember when she was all loving on tj and all this so shit girl that left out her mouth really quickly and said she didn't love her um now you you admit to loving to did you fuck them both i probably did okay this it's at her at her olden age it's really difficult to envision such hot mess when jag does have the potential and she's shown it she was an artist right she can bring all of that back she can bring all of that back 
I'm telling you, we see her comments. This is the Jag we love when she's singing. This is the Jag we love. We want this kind of content. Come on, Jag, stay positive. And then you'll see, oh, my God, we are sick of the drama. Now, some may say, well, if she try to be positive, y'all doing content on her. Baby, the content will change to positive content. And then at the end of the day, if it ain't nothing negative to talk about, people will go on to other stuff. Because sometimes the negative shit is fun. Let's just be honest. I mean, there's no need to be fake. Drama be fun to watch. Some, some of it. Because some of it be really sad. Like um, a young lady named, I follow her, Death Bay. She got beat the fuck up by her boyfriend. That's drama. That wasn't fun to watch. You know, I just got hold of that, um, watching that the other day. Um, but... Just her being a hot ass mess, it's 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 quite fun. It's sad at the same time, but it's like child, you a train wreck and can't nobody look away. You know? Um, her barber that she went that um I believe um he's in Vegas, not I believe he is in Vegas, he fucked up her hair, okay, in my opinion. I don't know what this I don't know what he was going for, but he went for it and I hate it. That's just me. You know, I wear a wig and afros, my own self twist. My hair don't be looking that hot. But I love it. And obviously, she love it. She did some pink hair. I don't, I'm not sure what was happening with the pink hair. I hated it. Okay. She loved it. And I believe she said she's going to get it back. Um, Yeah. And she tried to say her, her regular stylist didn't do it. What regular style is when you are, when you homeless? What, what regular, where do these regular stylists be for, or is there homeless stylists that follow you state to state? Girl, you just got somebody to do it as best they could, okay? Um, she's definitely trying to relive her yesteryears with the big combat because, again, she thinks because she was in a 2.0 second snippet clip of the camera pan, okay, when the camera pan the room, she like, oh, Jaguar White being seen, and it's on TMZ. Who you can't tell her nothing, so now her big comeback is here, child. Oh, my God. Um, <laughs> who, she is just too old to be willfully hoboing around with no stability. Maybe that TMZ clip, okay, will catap catapult her into... I don't know what it's going to catapult her into, but <laughs> so far it's catapulted her into nothing. Not one interview, not nothing. But screen recorded, save it because you was there, okay, with everybody else. So that's it for what I see. Oh, and the, I, I do see, I'm not blind, I see the YouTube mess, okay, between several content creators that I am cool with, okay? And when I say cool, as in I watch their channel, I'm in their chats, I'm members to one, one don't got a membership, you know, but, and I'm, and, and just cause you have a membership don't mean you loyal. It just means I like the content and I want to tip every month, right? Memberships are tipping. Some people take that membership like, oh my gosh, she don't got a membership. Baby, we can't afford to have a membership to 30, 30 of y'all if we like y'all. Okay. So no, some of us won't have a membership and I rotate my memberships. I'll be a membership for you one or two months. Stop being a membership. Go to somebody else and be a membership and come back to you. Okay. Um, but I see, I saw, I heard, I was disappointed. However, YouTube beefs happen, but what I don't do, I don't interject myself. I don't have a comment on it. And sometimes I hate when I go to chat and be like, hey, y'all, and I speak, and two seconds after I speak, they start talking about fuck the other person. And I'm like, ah, oh, I like that person. So now my hello, hi, is in the chat appearing, quotes, appearing as if I'm participating in talking shit about somebody else. Tell me in my land if that ain't happening, y'all. You like, damn, I'm not in here for that. So I'm. if you ever see my name, pay attention to what I say. If I say hello and don't comment again, know that I spoke because I do enjoy that content creator's content. Except I'm not going to participate in that particular subject. I'll be back. Or maybe I'll listen from the bushes. It does, you know, I, but I won't participate. But I hate that it's happening. But that's part of YouTube. It just is what it is. YouTube beefs happen. And if you're a content creator, if you stand on what you do, you're either going to ignore it. You're going to go back and forth with them. It's, it's, it just is what it is. And sometimes you are compelled to reply. 
Because some shit, I reply, I ain't above it. Now, don't get me twisted. There's a couple of bitches on here I can't stand and do not fuck with. They talk shit about me, still talking shit about me. And I'm okay with that. And I respond if I feel like it. A lot of times I don't. I just move, move, move along because people are going to believe what they believe. And some people will not even look at both sides of what happened. Let me see why they don't like Kiva. Let me go look at why they don't like Miss Fuck for Cake. Oh, this video. Oh, well, you know what? I, I kind of agree with Kiva here. Or you may watch it and say, I see both sides. I'm not going to dislike Kiva. I'm not going to dislike them. I'm neutral. Neutral. New neutrality. Did I say that right? It don't matter. You know what I mean. It's very hard to do. But I feel, and people will tell you, that I've kind of mastered that. I'm not, I've not gotten in between anybody else's mess. Also, my chat is a safe spot for everyone who hate everyone guts. It's always been that kind of chat. So do not feel you can't come in my chat because I may speak to somebody else and you, okay? There are people that still come in my chat that's been beefing with people from two years ago. But when they're in my chat, they honestly keep it respectful. And my mods will block you, okay? I don't let, you can't cuss each other out of my chat. My chat isn't made for that. But I just wanted to let you know I'm aware of it. I'm cool with all parties, okay? And I wish them the best on whatever they do. If they never upload to YouTube again, I still wish them the best because YouTube ain't real life. Okay, if they continue to upload, I'm going to support as I can. When I can get over there, I'm going to get over there. If I can't, I can't. So that's it. That's all. Again, thank you, members, for watching this. I appreciate you being a member. My memberships are as low as 99 cents. Um, and I thank you, and I will see y'all on the next video, or hopefully like. Get this commentary.